Hello everyone, my name is Somungri and I'd like to welcome you guys back to more Puppeteer. In the last episode, we defeated General Dog, but then got lured into a gingerbread house with no breadcrumbs. How are we to find our way home? I don't know. I'm hoping Hansel and Gretel can help me out on this one, and the witch will not make us into a giant gingerbread man. So let's get this started. Curtain 2, Act 5. Woo! Let's go. Let us continue our adventure. Yes, I'm gonna eat so much candy in here, I'm gonna get so fat, it's gonna be glorious! Behold, Halloween Veal, where every ghost worth his sheet loved a good scare. If you manage to spook someone out of their treats, then by George, you've done your job. However, that was before the Moon Goddess vanished, and sly General Monkey played a real trick on Halloween Veal. He ousted the town's mayor and the ghastly mayoral family from their haunted house, converted the building into a laboratory, and once settled in, Monkey began doing things to the town's produce. You see now the awesome scrumptious tastiness of Monkey's pumpkin creations? The first bite is heaven, but then the cookie crumbles. <laughs> the Moonstone Shards are back in our clutches. The Moon Bear King will be most pleased. Uh, you'll pay for this. Uh, give those back. Wait, I would be mad to give up this kind of power. <laughs> Think of the experiments I could conduct. Not while I'm around. <laughs> round indeed. I, monkey, shall use these moonstone pieces in my experiments. Now make like a banana and peel. You creep. Nobody cracks jokes like that on lives. I'll get you. Just as soon as I can find my toes. Oh, me ouch. Now that is perfect. <laughs> Plump dears, what a shame on you for stuffing your piggy little faces! You can yell at us later! That ape ran off with our moonstone shards! This is horrible, those stones have the power to restore magic and memory, but now you've messed everything up! Kotaro, you are a special boy, especially stupid! Stop lecturing us! Change us back to normal if you want our help! But magic can only undo magic. You may have been charmed into eating those sweets, but the sweets themselves were no smell. You pig out, you get fat. That's just nature. Wait, what does that mean? You can't fix us? We'll be chubs forever? I said magic can't fix you, dummy! You got yourself fat, now get yourself thin! But it can't be that! Oh, nothing is ever easy. And I'm gonna make sure this is a. Big sweating porky times are wasting. Oh, all I need is the moonstone and calibrus. It's all I need. You know you could just give up and stay an ugly, pathetic witch forever. Yang Yang! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So, the witch is the one pulling the strings. This awesomely juicy morsel should come in handy. <laughs> General Monkey's tasty trap had turned our poor hero into the Lord of Lard. From shrimp... ...to blimp. Oh, man! <laughs> Okay, so many fat jokes come to mind right now. I'm gonna try to take it easy, but Kutaro, you're so fat you can't even hold the scissors. Bottom boom. <laughs> I can't help myself. This is hilarious. This is awesome. This is just what would happen if you ate all the candy. That's why you don't eat all the candy. Exactly why. So we need liposuction. And did he ever? <laughs> Sorry. Let's just say he raced into a slimmer future, flab jiggling in the winds of change. Oh wait, we're inside here. Oh, that is awesome. We just lost the head. That's not cool. 
I, I think we need liposuction, like I was just saying, or maybe Richard Simmons. Come on, guys, let's work it. Yes, Taro, you're getting dinner. Kujiro had plenty of pounds to spare as he demolished rock, bridge, and foe. His globe-like body was a microcosm of his struggles. As really? We died. But I was going to say, we need Russell Simmons. I think that's the name, right? Come on, guys! Lift them legs and up and down and scale this jungle, yeah! You know the guy with the spandex? The feminine guy with the curly hair? I always thought he was a funny exercise guy. But I'll meet you guys back where we were in a second. Alright, we're back! He demolished rock, bridge, and foe. His globe-like body was a microcosm of his struggles. As if some mini Kutaro was slicing away with calibrus of the layers of fat. Your greatest enemy is yourself. That is pretty funny how you are slicing the fat up here. We all have a Kutaro inside all of us. No, go on that bike outside! Along our waistlines. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the Okay, I died again. But how can I focus on playing the game when we are just like a plump donut? And same with Picarina. I mean, <laughs> that is just hilarious. Alright, let's go. I think we're starting halfway here. Here we are. As a donut again. What's with the sign here? Nothing. We, oh. All of human history can be traced along our waistline. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor. Call it no! autocracy. Fatocracy. To narrow the divide ooh, between ooh, the fans. Ooh. Kind of like that movie, Idiocracy. That'd be a pretty funny sequel, Fatocracy. Where people live on top of people because people are the size of planets! Uh, could happen. Could happen. Could very well happen. You never know, right? What is, what is, what's going on back here? We can still change our heads. Go to the six shooter. Let's just cut some fat. Let's cut some fat up. All of human history can be traced along our waistlines. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor. Call it fatocracy. <laughs> to narrow the divide between the fats and the fat. Not gonna lie, this is pretty tough. This is pretty tough. You gotta do square and X at the same time and look visually at what's All going on in the screen. Can be so it's even harder for me because I gotta pay attention. Press this with my fat finger, run right through the fire. Keep it going. I'm just gonna talk over this guy until we get to where we were. Fatocracy. Yes, we are. <laughs> Just burning these calories. To narrow the divide between the fats and the fat knots, someone had the bright idea to ration food out. It was called communism. Want bread? Line up. Don't be like that. Really? We are dying like crazy here. Okay. I'm gonna have complete utter focus. We're just gonna listen to the narrator. He's gonna, you know, rip on us for being fat. But, you know, I don't care because I'm enjoying my life. I like candy. But communism ultimately lost out. No five-year plan could wean people from the temptation of all that caviar and vodka. Oh, jump it. Woo! Now we're on a roll. A fat roll. Oh, yeah. Just cruising. Taking the shortcut. Real nice. This is one way to kill grubs, I'll tell you that. And right through the castle gates. But Futuro shed the pounds. Having doffed his mantle of corpulence, he could once again squeeze into his place amongst heroes. Yes! Awesome! <gasps> Wait, what about me? I get thin too, don't I? Oh no, I don't want to be fat alone! What seemed like an unbreakable friendship pre-diet can get truly ugly post diet. Oh my gosh, I'm serious. What about me? You do still have my other costume. Gonna presto change o during a scene change or something? Right? Hey, are you trying to wreck my career? So not cool. I have an image. You know what? Tell the manager that I've already called my agent and lawyer. Tell him. All right, we might tell him, but Picarina, you so fat, we can't even see Kudaro. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah. So here we go. We shed the pounds. We going in. Loving this episode. At the end of his pot-bellied, 
uh, stout-hearted slog through self-imposed emaciation, Kuturo had wandered right into Halloween Veal. Oh, this is much better. Give me candy or die. Um, I don't think that's how Halloween works. The pumpkin monster attacked with vicious geezers of cream filling. At this rate, Kutaro and Picorino would be drowned. If we get the cream off the roof... If we get the cream off the wood! Ah, oh, we gotta go through the whole thing again? Come on! We'll die! This guy's really greedy for candy, too. He's a pumpkin! You should be asking for, like, water and sunlight. With vicious geezers of cream filling. At this rate, Kutaro and Picorino would be drowned. If we get the cream off the roof, we might be able to slam the house back to normal. Oh yeah. Real nice. Slam it. Woohoo! Yeah, Kutaro! There we are. We're on a roll finally here. And we're not gonna eat that roll. Uh, I feel sick. Ugh. I haven't seen this much projectile vomit since my sorority day. I see the juice, and I have the juice now, kid. Just rolling in pumpkin juice. He's creeping the houses. Fix them so we can keep going. Working on it, Picarina. Hey, wait, she did get a costume change. Oh, I liked her better when she was fat, Rena. Come on, wait, what's this? Candy house. Oh, I don't have the candy house. That's the Choo Choo train. Uh oh, we gotta hurry. going on here? Oh, open it up! Open it up! Bats. Never thought I'd be so happy to see these rabies things. I will crush you! Oh no! The ground's collapsing! Hurry! Or you'll end up face first in cream! There was no safe haven for our dashing duo. Halloween Deal was clearly out to get him. Oh, I hope so. Pretty sure we could just eat the pumpkin, uh, if anything, you know? Pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin muffins. I mean, there's multiple ways we can prepare them, and there's enough for everyone, but then we're probably gonna have to be fat again. Give me back my head, no! Okay, we're gonna lose that head. Darn it. Okay, we're down to two heads. Oh, yeah, there we go. He just keeps barfing back there. How much frosting can you possibly be barfing? Why don't you just eat your own barf? That'd be enough candy for you forever. <laughs> if only we all barfed good stuff. I suppose then we would just consider ourselves dogs and just eat up our barf right away afterwards. One thing I never understood, but I still do it. I want to see what it's all about. Now you are finished. Really? Really? Cream melange? <laughs> nice. Can't have too much frosting or cream. Whoa. Maybe you can. Maybe. Maybe you can. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong with my life all this time. Maybe I've been just adding way too much frosting. Way too much. You don't get to taste all the goodness. You only taste the frosting. Oh, I was going to say, we might be in trouble here. My own snippity snip. There we go. Bang. Yum. Or not. Thanks to Halloween Beatles' lack of orthodontists, Kutaro and Picarina avoided almost certain. I'll chew you yet! Are those gooey places cavities? That that would hurt if you attack them. What gooey places? What gooey pl Oh, I see, okay. It's gonna, he's got a lot of cavities. Wow. Alright, so let's, let's slice his cavity up. Are you sure we're not doing him a favor and giving him a filling here? I mean, that's what it kind of looks like. Well, we'll take your advice. We'll try it. We'll try it. Throw a bomb. Ah! 
I'll trap you forever. This time, the pumpkin monster kept his jaw clamped shut, leaving neither nook nor cranny to crawl out of. They were trapped. Let's just get away from the teeth. I didn't realize I was actually playing there a second ago. So we gotta hurry. Whoa! Roll! There we go. Real nice. These are always like weird little sequences, the silhouette. It's like, what am I doing back there? I don't know. Is this a tooth? I'll slam it in. Ooh, we got ourselves a head of a real boy. Real nice. Now this looks like a nice mushy cavity. Slam it to pieces! <laughs> you monsters! I guess the moral here is, think about what you eat. Otherwise, your food might kick you in the teeth. Actually, we get gobbled up a lot. Tigers, snakes, whales, and now a pumpkin. We see more action than a gastroscope. Oh no! Well, at least we can get our head back. You know what? I think we should be doing some of the eating. We haven't been able to do any of the eating. Everybody's eating us. I mean, come on. Well, we just did get fat from eating, so I guess. Looks like we need to do more dental work. Remember, cavities can lead to bad breath, gum disease, loss of hearing, and death. Don't forget to make that dentist appointment. Loss of hearing? That's a new one. I wonder if that's true. Could be. Ooh, we just got a candy head. Nice. Get up, get up. Nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Kuta roll. Here we go. Hello, cavity. <laughs> See what happens to gluttons for punishment? That was experience talking. Candy! A whole smorgasbord of them! Whose side are you on, Candy? And again, if they keep his mouth open. Oh, Candy, how I love you. You're so good. You're so sweet. You're so kind. You comfort me at night. When Picarita goes away, <laughs> you're the only comfort I have. <laughs> I cry for you, Kuturo. I cry for you. Not for me. Not for me. Not me. Not IRL Munger or anything. For Kuturo. The battered cavities had only worsened the pumpkin monster's depravity. He was done savoring. This was one meal that needed to die and be forgotten. Crushing cavities. Gosh, I hope we get salary like dentists because they get a pretty, 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 pretty penny. Yeah, pretty, 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 pretty penny. I don't know. I don't know. Better than doctors. I don't know how much they really make. But I would still say it would be a pretty, 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 pretty penny. Yes, I would. Another cavity. Let's finish the job. Oh, yeah. Nubula head. Interesting. Thing. What? Hey! Whoa! If we hadn't busted you out of there, you'd be spending the rest of your days as a pumpkin monster! What is a pumpkin but a manifestation of the predictability of everyday life? My soul will never be free! That's crazy talk! We just freed you big time! I am Nebula, Nebula Oblongata, existential wanderer of the cosmos of the soul, and yet prisoner of the fleshy coils of my impending adolescence. You're a ghost? So is everyone in Halloween. People insist I am the mayor's daughter, but they are deceived by illusion. They do not realize I am a ray of blazing light in a galaxy of darkness, cast out by the gods and saddled with this cage you ordinary fools would call a body. Um, that's nice. Well, if you're the mayor's daughter, maybe you've seen this guy, this monkey guy? He totally swiped our goods and we want him back. Yes, the simian is conducting experiments in the haunted house in the center of town. The place I called my literal home. Well, Kitaro, let's go. Wait! What? <gasps> oh, don't do that! General Monkey has transmogrified the haunted house into a laboratory. It is a fell crucible of tin and iron, a portentous labyrinth of tubes and tinctures. To set foot inside would be to bring down the hammer of your own doom. Unless, of course, you enter through the unspeakable door. 
Unspeakable? You just spoke it. So, I take it you know where the door is? Yes, it was my literal home. Then could you, uh, show us? Impossible! Monkey stole my key to the unspeakable door. Of course he did. But not the mayor's. Okay, great. So, where is the mayor? In the one place where the haggard robes of mortality can be shrugged aside. Upon the golden bridge that separates life from death. Right. And translation? The graveyard. <laughs> to the graveyard we must go. Nubula kind of reminded me of Beetlejuice with the head movement and stuff. Kind of a cool effect. I wish I could get my head to do that. Then I could look, look around corners and be like, Hey, what's up, guys? With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kuturo. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Oh yeah. Breaking 300. Just saving souls. Woot woot. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be taking a trip to the graveyard, then the haunted house next episode that should be fun we got an achievement a trophy sorry trophy trophy Kutaro survived the most laudious of tasks a gauntlet of tummy aches and toothaches after fasting as fast as feasible he made his way to the graveyard to find the mayor and hopefully a key to the stolen moonstone pieces hopefully yes indeed hopefully so hope you guys enjoyed that curtain don't forget to leave a comment let me know your favorite part of the episode leave a thumbs up leave a favorite and subscribe for more puppeteer have a great day everyone